Hey, Dan the Man, I just saw you on Matlock today. Yeah, on Meet TV every weekday from 9 to 10 a.m. Central Time on Meet TV, I watch Matlock and have my nice hot java. Smell that nice hot java. See, I'm still in my pajama, but I wake up, I see I got my Invasion of the Saucer Man shirt on, you know. I know Bob Burns Bale, uh, Paul Blaisdell made those great monster suits in the 1950s. I, yeah, Invasion of the Saucer Man for AIP. And, and, you know, I conquered the world in 1956 with Roger Corman. He made the Beulah monster, and, and he made he made the it the terror from beyond space, 1957 or 58. That's like cool. I, that's like my favorite sci, one of my favorite sci-fi movies, and one of my favorite monsters. Next to the Glenn Strange Frankenstein, yeah, Glenn Strange, my favorite Frankenstein, my favorite monster. Yeah, and I know Bob Burns is good pals with Glenn Strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the Glenn Strange. Here's the Paul Blaisdell and Bob Burns and all my fiends. And here's to you, Dan the Man Robot, who was in 50 episodes of Matlock. <laughs> I know, I know, you're in The Fugitives, Detective, U.S. Marshals, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, and both those, and you were in uh, Nash Bridges later on, episodes of that, but, but you were in that Invisible Man TV show, that was like 2002, that was like right after I met you, I said, man, there he is, an Invisible Man, and I remember, I like that scene where you said, you're in that suit and said, I want this Invisible Man, you said, yeah, I, said, Why is I called up Jan, I go, yeah, Dan Man Robux in it, you know, he's on, uh, he's on uh, Invisible Man, you know, and she'd watch it, Yo, and um, so, you know, Janet, my ghoul fiend, you know, played Vampire Woman, Miss Werewolf, Dinosaur Woman, which I just finished in 2019. She likes Dinosaur Woman. Actually, that, that was filmed, like, back in, like, 98 to, to be 98, 99, Dinosaur Woman, but I, those scenes, but I didn't edit it until 2019 when I finished editing it. I mean, I had been put on the hold for a while because I was doing other movies, and I did Howl of the Werewolf is my newest, which I shot with my new digital camera, a little... I got it for 189 bucks at Walmart with a micro memory card. But before that, I was just shooting stuff on video. But I'm still editing old movies that I shot on video that I haven't edited yet. I mean, I got a lot of movies that I filmed on video I just haven't edited because it's, it's, <laughs> editing takes time. I got one movie that right now I'm working on The Mummy Creeps, which is my footage I shot of me as a mummy back in 98. And I, I filmed new footage of me as an Egyptian and I'm putting the scenes together. So I'm the Egyptian commanding the mummy to go and attack people. Said, go and attack my fiends at WGN TV, you know, because I'm on WGN Morning News every Halloween, you know, since 97. Because I wrote them for three, three and a half years, three times a year. And I wrote Fox 32. I wrote them, you know, with Bob Surratt, I wrote them like a lot. But uh, WGN calls me up three, three and a half years later. They call me and say, yeah, you've been writing, you've been sending us press materials for years. Uh, when can you be on? I go, anytime you want me, you know. I always wrote... I never begged to be on a show, but I wrote every station in Chicago, NBC, ABC, WGN, CBS, you know, I even gave, I even uh, left the tape for, um, for uh, Roger Ebert in his box down at CBS back in like 2000, I left him, left him a copy of Devil Ant, but I met him later on the street, walking by in the street when I was trying to be an extra for that uh, night, that Black Knight movie, you know, the Batman movie, I think like 2006 or so, and I go, I come out of the place, I didn't get cast as an extra, but when I came out, uh, all of a sudden, Roger Ebert's walking by with his wife, and I go, hey, Mr. Ebert, I go, yeah, I said, how's it going? You know, right? Yeah, I said, yeah, I, I left you a DVD or video of Devil Ant for you, my movie Devil Ant back in 2000. Did you ever watch that? He goes, oh, I don't think so. I said, yeah, well, you, you get a lot of movies. You probably didn't have time, you know. I was hoping he'd review it, but <laughs> you get so many movies, you know, you can only review so many, and it's not a mainstream movie, but it did win Best Psychotronic Movie, Best direct-to-video psychotronic movie for the year 1999 by the Chicago Psychotronic Film Society. I got an award for it. You can see it on my Facebook page of my awards. And so, you know, I got a, they got a certificate. It was awarded to me by the president, fearless leader of Psychotronic Film Society, Michael Flores. He's the one that gave me the name Edward of the 90s back in 92 when I was helping him move. And he watched Werewolf vs. Dracula and Dracula from Space. And he goes, oh, I swear, oh, you're the Edward of the 90s. And then Brian Wendorf comes to the door. He was like a Chicago activist, fan of psychotronic sci-fi, horror films, exploitation movies, you know, black exploitation. We love they were Fred the Hammer, Williamson, Jim Brown. Yeah, Fred the Hammer. I mean, I met him. Nice guy. I met him in 2012. Yeah, and he let me take pictures and videos of me and him. Yeah, great guy. I love Fred the Hammer. You know, there's an example of a filmmaker, independent filmmaker. He, he raised the money himself and did his own films. So I have a lot of respect for that. Yeah, I like that. I like his philosophy on, film, uh, you know, independent filmmaking. Yeah, he got interviewed for a show called um, um, Urban Street. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that music where they go. Yeah, welcome to Urban Street. You know, they interviewed Fred the Hammer Williamson. Man, that's a great show. I, I, I got a video of that. Okay, I'll say, but anyway, I just want to say something. But um, back to what I was saying. Uh, forget what I was talking about. Okay, cut. Hey, I'm going to shut up now and drink my job. And I just want to say, yeah, you got to watch Matlock every morning, Monday through Friday on MeTV. 9 a.m. Central Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 8, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Time for all you friends. Yeah, and Dan Roberts and 50 episodes. Yeah, and I know I know you were in a lot of shows after that. You know, Fugitive, good, great movie. I, every time it's on, I watch it. So it sounds like twice in, in, in fact, three, if I got every week for like a month, I watch like every week. It's a, it's a great movie. I love that movie. I didn't like it that much when it came out because it was too new. But once, after like 10, 15 years after it was made, all of a sudden I thought, you know, it, 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 became, more, it became more special to me. It became like an older film. And then I was interested. Then I watched it a lot. And when it's on, I watch it. Tommy Lee Jones is great, man. You were great as the detective. Yeah. Yeah, you're in there with the in the bar with a bottle of beer, and you're hold your bottle up in the air when you're all celebrating when they caught the guy, the bad guy. Yeah, okay. That's a good job. Now you want to watch this movie? Or my Devil Ants are gonna get you. He's the one that tagged Roger Corman in Devil Ant Two. Yeah, and Devil Ant, and Devil Ant. Yeah, the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he also take him in, in Devil Ant Two. It was you could see the ant wiggling in front of him when he got his Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, at the Chicago International Film Fest '97. I was the only one to take that. Okay. Yeah, and then my uh, other Devil Ant that attacked Caroline Monroe and her daughter at Monster Mash 2002 and 2003. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's technical difficulties. Okay, and now on with the show. Okay, now my other devil ain't gonna get you. Yeah. And then my original devil ain't gonna get gonna get you. Yeah. The one that attacked me in the first devil ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed. I gotta try it one more time. There's my video DVD recorder. Okay. Yeah, my devil ain't gonna get you now. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that's perfect, just like Eddie Wood. That my, just like. It was perfect, just like Eddie Wood, my hero, my mentor. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah, ha, 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 ha. yes, my friend. Now sit back and watch my movies or my devil hands will. Yeah, okay, on with the show. I took the old difficulties again. There's an old camcorder. Yeah, and my giant horny toad monster's gonna get you too if you don't watch and enjoy my movies. Yeah, my giant horny toad monster. I got that for a dollar at the dollar store. I figured some kid, it was the last one, I figured some kid buys it, he'll just chew on it. But if I buy it, I'll immortalize it in my movies, and it'll entertain a lot of people. This thing, this thing made this little $1.99, uh, I got a, a dollar store, this thing made me like probably a good 400, 500 bucks so far, you know, and selling copies of it on video and DVD, on DVD, on DVD, it went straight to DVD. Uh, even though I edited it on video, and then I put it on DVD. Yeah, so yeah, uh, and, a giant horny toad, and Giant Horny Toad Monster 2 is gonna get you. I got this one for 50 cents at a garage sale. This is a newer one. Uh, yeah, and my devil snake's gonna get you. Uh, I got that at Uncle Fun for like a buck in Chicago. And uh, what else? And my giant fly's gonna get you. My giant fly. Bzz, from like 1992 short film, The Giant Fly. You see previous that on YouTube. Bzz. Gotcha. Yeah, and my other giant fly. This is one Gary Patty sent me. And I use it in Devil and Giant Fly 2, which I already filmed, coming soon on DVD. Bzz, bzz, I'm sucking your blood. I'm sucking your blood. Yeah, he's sucking your blood. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, if you don't enjoy my movies, my devil ain't will get you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sucking your blood. I'm sucking your blood. Yeah. 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 Okay, cut, that was perfect. Just like Eddie Wood, my hero, my mentor. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah, ha, 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 ha. And now, on with the show.